Today, we're gonna to install this track bar riser bracket on this 1975 Ford Bronco behind me. So we're in front of this 1975 Bronco and I'm about to measure to see if the axle is centered with the body. Now, it's really important to remember that before you do this, you wanna make sure that you're at ride height and you have all the weight that you're going to have on your, on your Bronco before you actually do this test. The reason for that is, is that as the axle compresses, it goes towards the passenger side, up and towards the passenger side, but as it droops, it goes down and towards the driver's side. So it's really critical to have your Bronco at ride height and all the weight on it before you do this measurement. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure from the, the face of the rotor to the outside of your frame. And we're gonna do this on both sides. Now there's more than one way to do this, but I like to use the rotor face versus the side of the tire. I'm gonna lay it up flat against the rotor and then I'm gonna grab my tape measure and put it up against the frame. And then I'm gonna poke my head in here and take a look at how close this measurement is. And then I'm gonna compare it to the other side. From there, I can determine just how close to center I am and make my adjustments as necessary. All right, so we're installing the track bar riser. And so basically right here, my track bar uh, attaches to the axle. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this off and we are going to install a plate that goes right here that just lifts this point up uh, about two inches. So here's the plate and uh, here's where the original hole is and here's where our new hole is gonna be. So it just lifts it up a little bit, gets that geometry a little bit more compressed which reduces that normal bump steer that all of our Broncos have. <laughs> just removed the stock track bar and now before we go any further I want to make sure everything lines up uh, you also want to go ahead and take this time to mark in all the places that you're going to weld it on also it's important for you to realize that the, the bracket comes bare instead of painted and this is so you can have it weld on easily and then you'll come back and paint if you want you can actually put a weld through primer on first then weld and then come back and paint it. So I just got done cutting the bolt off and we've just got it removed and popped out. It's really important that you cut it to about this size in order for you to be able to get it to fish through the backside of your stock uh, uh, track bar bracket on the axle. I'm gonna use some weld through primer and I'm gonna spray the axle as well as the, the riser bracket. Uh, that way when I can't get to these pieces once it's welded in, it's protected and it's not going to rust. About to do the mock-up of the track bar here and we just realized that the stock bump stop behind the riser bracket is in the way this has to be removed before you can proceed any further all right so we've got the riser bracket in place and now we've also bolted the track bar in and we want to make sure that it fits without any issue before we weld the riser in the other thing we need to do is put our steering system back in place and turn it lock to lock and just make sure everything fits and looks fine. This is really important for clearance issues. You may see clearance issues at the C-cap if you have any front mounted shocks. You also might see some clearance issues at the dip. These are some of the things you need to check for. The last thing you want to make sure of is that your saddle or your junction point of your drag link and your tie rod are not making contact with your new track bar mount on the axle. All right, we've got the track bar removed. Now it's time to tack the bracket in place 
Then we're gonna torque the bolt to 150 foot-pounds. Then we're gonna weld it completely, let it cool, clean it off, paint it black, reinstall the track bar. All right, so we're, we're about to finish up the install for the track bar riser bracket. And we still have to paint the riser bracket. And then before we do that, there's something I wanna make sure that you're aware of that plays into body roll and bump steer and all other types of weird driving conditions. And it's this. You wanna dry fit your bolt into your track bar bracket at the frame and you wanna give it a wiggle. See all that loose play? If you've got that kind of loose play, that's gonna transfer into the way it drives and behaves on the road. There is a fix for this. You can go buy fancy weld washers and weld new 9 16 washers on here, or you can even drill this out to 5 8 using a 5 8 drill bit, and you can upgrade it to a 76 77 track bar bolt like this. And then that's a real easy fix, and then you can just get the track bar bushings and sleeves from James Duff. Now the other thing I want to show you is why we use the riser versus a track bar drop bracket is because track bar drop brackets put a lot of stress on the frame. Now that's not a big deal if you're going to go and just on the street and you know playing around here and there, but the moment you really start to go out and wheel and off road, you're going to put a lot of stress on the frame by using a track bar drop bracket. That's why you'd rather keep the stock one and then use a riser instead. Now, also I want to show you that the steering is tie rod over. Tie rod over is for when you want to go over large obstacles. If you notice, the bar is above the axle tube. Your axle and your pumpkin are going to hit obstacles before your steering does. Also want to show you that this particular riser bracket is designed to be used with a heavy duty lower coil bucket. As you see, there's plenty of clearance between the two, so you don't have to make any modifications. So that wraps up our track bar riser bracket install video. One of the great benefits of this is getting your track bar and your drag length more parallel with your axle. It gets the severity of the angle reduced so you have less bump steer. You should check out our bump steer video and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment. I'd love to see what you guys are working on and I want to hear your feedback. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for joining the Bronco Garage.